Every Google Analytics 4 user wants to find useful insights from the data, but sometimes Google makes strange decisions and doesn't include essential metrics, which make us waste time and miss crucial insights. So in this video, I'll teach you how to add the purchase conversion rate to GA4 reports so that you can easily compare data and see what pages, channels, and products are converting users to customers. And luckily, it's pretty easy to add even if you've never done it before because you can do it right in the GA4 dashboard. <laughs> Hello data people, I'm Robert from Clicks Don't Lie and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. Now let's first talk about what is conversion rate in e-commerce. Simply put, it's the ratio between all the people that come to your website and people that bought. So for example, if you had 10,000 visitors, so users coming to your website and 200 bought from you, you just divide that the 200 by 10,000 and multiply that, the result by 100. And there you go, you get a 2% conversion rate. I discussed conversion rate and how to get insights from GA4 in depth in my GA4 for e-commerce course, which really focuses on the e-commerce insights uh, without any of the technical stuff. The link will be in the description. So to add the conversion rate, all you have to do is come here to admin and let's search for the here custom definitions. And here if you click on calculate metrics and create calculated metric, from here we can give it a name, for example, purchase conversion rate, and then you need to enter this formula. So we're taking the e-commerce purchases and divide that by sessions and multiplying by 100 the result. But here's the thing. You could also change this to users. If you, if you prefer using users over sessions, you can change it here. Users, total users, you could use that too. But I prefer using sessions, so I'm going to keep it like this. The unit of measurement, just keep it standard unless you can find a percentage here. Right now, they don't have, which is kind of annoying, but we work with what we have and then just save it. There are a few other useful calculated metrics you should add to get maximum out of your GA4. You can just grab my cheat sheet with the metrics and formulas that you can just copy and paste. Uh, the link will be in the video description. And now to add this calculated metric to any of your reports, you can just go to any report. So let's say I'm going to the landing page report. So here, landing page. If you have the right user rights, you can see this pen icon. If you click on it from here, you have metrics. So let's click on metrics and add metric and you see custom purchase conversion rate, or you could also look for it. So purchase, you can see that it appears still here. So um, this way you can filter. Let's select that. You see it's the last one. I click on apply. And now if I scroll down here and you see here pur purchase conversion rate. Now. Now, right now it's showing zeros just because this is my Google Analytics 4 and I don't have e-commerce installed on this one. This is my personal website. So obviously it, there's just no purchases there. And then just click on save. Let's save the current one, save. And now if I scroll down, you can see we have here purchase conversion rate. It's at zeros now. It's just because this is my personal website and I don't have e-commerce enabled there. But there, this is where you would see it. If you don't see it immediately, if you see like a, just a dash there, then come back, refresh the page. Maybe in five, 10 minutes, you should see this because this, this will show you historic data, even if you just set it up. So you don't need to like wait for it to gather data. It will just show the uh, calculated metric immediately. Now that you know how to add conversion rate to your reports, but GA4 is full of metrics and reports that you, you just don't need and using them will waste your time. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn the most useful reports in GA4 specifically for e-commerce.